Awesome BMX here back with another Red Dead Online video. Today we're going to be going through a couple awesome fishing spots, fishing tips, and how to make pretty good money just from using your rod and lures. And we're starting right now. So you may think that going after big fish is the best thing to do in Red Dead Online, but you can only carry one on your horse. That may change sometime with the trapper roll that's coming up, but we're not sure if you can have a wagon and carry more than one big fish. The major way to make good money in Red Dead Online is to catch lots of medium and small fish because those go in your satchel. As you can see here, we currently have seven largemouth bass, a couple salmon, and almost a full satchel of trout. You can hold 10 of each fish. You can also hold 10 of the smaller smallmouth bass. You can hold 10 of each of the small fish. Also pickerel, bluegill, what else is there? A couple different pickerel actually, bluegill and rock bass. So you can get quite a lot of fish. So in this video, we're gonna go over some great spots to be able to fill your satchel with all these different kinds of fish. If we take a look at the map, you can see where we are. This is one of my favorite spots to fish for quite a lot of different kinds of fish. If you can scroll out a little bit, we're just north of Rhodes. We're on the edge of Flat Iron Lake in this little inlet right here. There's a rock right here also if you, that we're standing on. If you sit on this rock, we actually caught almost all the fish in our satchel right here, except for the salmon. I think I have those from earlier in the day. But the best thing to use here is definitely some lures. If you guys have not already picked up lures, definitely pick them up if you are leveled up high enough. Head over to Lagrasse to the bait shop and pick up the special lures from the bait shop lady also because those work awesome. Right now I'm pretty sure we're using the special river lure and if we cast this thing out here you can see that there is some big fish. Those are uh, large steelhead I believe and we've caught in quite a lot of smaller fish here and medium sized fish. This spot right here is fantastic. What we'll do is we'll spend some time here. We'll catch ourselves quite a lot of largemouth bass and trout, of course. And then if you want, throw on your special spinner. That is the best lure you can use for catching smaller fish because you don't have to rebait after every time that you catch a fish. So you can just constantly catch small fish after, what the? Okay, fine. I don't want to catch you anyway, buddy. Small fish after small fish. If we go around here, here we go. See, we got some trout over here. Usually the trout are on this side mostly, and the bass are over here. As you can see, those are probably some bass right here that we might be able to catch. If they're not spawning in for you, throw your lure out there. Let it sit for a little while. You possibly will get some good spawns. This spot, again, is great for largemouth bass and trout, and then assortment of smaller fish. So make sure you're spending a good amount of time here, 10, 15 minutes or more, and catching a great variety of fish to fill your satchel, because that's how we're gonna make the money at the end of this video. All right, one of the fish we cannot catch over at our first spot is, of course, smallmouth bass. This spot right here, and around this bend, we'll show you the map real quick where we are. Right here is fantastic around this whole bend area. Right up in here is fantastic for catching smallmouth bass. That's one more f kind of fish that you could hold 10 of that are worth quite a lot. Medium sized fish are worth between two and 250. I think smallmouth bass and maybe Largemouth bass are worth two, and the trout and salmon are worth 250 a piece. So catching 10 of all of those is quite a lot of money that we'll show at the end of this video, so stick around. So one strategy I always use is I am fishing with my lures, my special lures. Uh, depending on what fish you're wanting to go for is what you want to use. I think the bass, both largemouth and small bass, really like the lake lure no matter where you are fishing on it. And the trout and the salmon are, or actually no, yeah, and the trout and the salmon really like the river lure. Uh, if we look out here, we got a couple more bass, one more right there. We have quite a lot of small fish. So right now, we're going to switch over to our special spinner. 
Special Spinner is an awesome lure to have. You can get it from the bait lady down in the grass because small fish will not will not go after your lures, your river lure or your lake lure. They only go after bait and the spinner, but they go after the spinner like crazy and you never have to worry about losing them. So once you catch, you reel in. And yeah, little tiny fish, but this guy's worth a buck, I think. Maybe 80 cents. Some of them are worth 80, some are worth a buck. But you can carry 10 of those. Easy 8 to $10. So we'll use this for a little while. Catch a whole bunch of these. And then usually at that point, the other larger fish that you're wanting to catch will spawn in quite a lot more. And you can catch a whole bunch of those again. There, see another one? Reel it in. Done. So the next spot I'll show you on the map here is for our salmon. We're still on the Dakota River. Uh, you could catch some salmon up here by Cumberland Falls, but one great spot that I like is right here on this little inlet that pops up right here. It's kind of dark out right now. I don't like recording videos when it's dark, but it is raining right now, and fish seem to really spawn like crazy when it's raining. You can see all the bubbles out here. So we're going to go ahead and fish for these salmon real quick. Again, alternate between, as you can see, they're popping up everywhere. Alternate between your lures, uh, the salmon like the river lure, of course, so we're going to put on our special river lure. We'll catch a few of those when they aren't as abundant in front of us. We'll switch over to our spinner and catch all the small fish right here and just jump back and forth until we have a full satchel of salmon. Right, as you can see, we've cleared out all the salmon of this spot. Well, we didn't clear them all out, but we've caught our limit. We can't keep this one anymore. To make more money, you can go into your satchel and break these fish down into succulent fish meat and then re-catch more salmon, but you really don't get much when you break them down. You get like less than, I think it's like 50 cents or something for each piece. So you really destroy the fish. I don't, I don't think it's worth the time, but you could do that if you wanted to. Till next time, buddy. Our third spot on the Dakota River is for catching trout and small fish, of course. Take a look at our map real quick. Why is my button not working very well? We are just down river from our smallmouth bass spot, which was up here in this bend, right around this area, possibly right there is where we caught the fish, but you can catch them all around here. Across the river, right here by this island by Lymphony is awesome for trout if you did not catch enough at the first spot we showed or you could just do it all on the Dakota River if you'd like. But this spot right here, you could fill your satchel with trout as well as small fish, as you could see here on the river. They are everywhere. Where they were before we went to the map. <laughs> the last and final hole we're showcasing here in this video is right here on the Montana River. As you can see, it's full of largemouth bass as well. If you need to get a few of those to fill your satchel and tons of little fish. What do we get here? All right, we got bluegill maybe. I think I do need still one of those. That is awesome. Fill up that satchel. No, I'm full on bluegill. I think I just need a couple of redfin pickerel. And we have a full satchel and we'll head right over to the butcher. If we take a look at our map real quick, this is where we are right here. On the way between Blackwater and Strawberry on the Montana River, right here on this little island where you cross the river right there. This little pool of water right here is fantastic for largemouth bass as well as little fish. All right, so there it is. We've caught our final fish we need to fill our satchel. One thing I want to note to everybody is know your bait. I've stated to use lures to catch medium sized fish, spinner to catch small fish quickly. And then when you get down to the final couple that you need, you might want to use some of your actual bait like the cheese and stuff that's free because those all catch specific fish and it actually tells you in your bait wheel which fish those are good for. So if you need to catch one more red fin pickerel like we just did, we threw on some cheese and caught that specific fish out of that group of fish that were there. Man, that's a lot of fish. We're going to head over to the butcher now here in Blackwater. See how much money we've made with a full satchel of fish that we just caught in this video. 
All right, so we've made it over to the Blackwater Butchers. You can see we have eight different kinds of fish. They're all 10 each. That is 80 fish that we could sell. Right now we're at just over $3,400. So we'll sell all these real quick and see how much money a full satchel of fish from fishing can get you in Red Dead Online. All right, as you guys can see, we made 120, just over $125 selling all those fish. And now we're getting shot at. What are these guys doing? We need to get the heck out of here. $125 selling just fish on one trip. All right, if you pull up our map real quick, we'll highlight everything that we showcased in this video. We showcased our pretty awesome spot for largemouth bass and trout, as well as small fish. All these spots have great small fish counts as well over on Flatiron Lake. And then if you wanna stay on the Dakota River, we showcased our salmon spot here, as well as our smallmouth bass spot on the bend here. Then we did showcase across from Lymphony, our trout spot right here. And then if you're looking for more largemouth bass, we have some underneath Bard's Crossing, as well as the spot showcased here at the end of the video on the upper Montana River. So use all of these spots to fill your satchel and get yourself $125 just in fish that you can carry in your satchel all the time. Hey guys, hope you liked this video. If you did, make sure, oh my gosh, it's a huge herd. Make sure to smash the like button as it definitely helps the channel quite a lot. And hope you see you on the prairie sometime. But until then, see you later. Get these guys right now.